Hey everybody, this is Brett, and today I'd like to teach you how to get rid of the pain shooting down your leg. And the other day I had this problem, and the reason that I had it is because I've been doing a lot of sitting, and that makes my butt muscles tight, and that pinches the sciatic nerve. Also, I've been doing a lot of bicycling. That makes my leg muscles tight, and that makes your butt muscles tight, which pinches the sciatic nerve. So today I'm going to show you how to release all of those muscles and then it will feel so much better. Now, if you have a, a protruding disc in your back that's pinching your sciatic nerve up here, see, because it's coming, at, it's coming out here. It's going down through there, but it's coming out here. If you've got that problem, then watch this video up here in addition to doing the exercises that I'm going to teach you in this video. So the first thing you need is a leather softball. You can also use a tennis ball, but I think that a leather softball really gets in there better and deeper. And so what you do is you lay down on the floor and you put this underneath your butt. Put your other knee up with your foot on the ground so that you can lift your body up. Put the softball under your butt like that. And then roll around on it and feel for where it's really tight and sore. If you find a spot that's really particularly tight and sore, get on it like that and just stay on it. And if you have sciatica, which means that the muscles are so tight that it's pinching that sciatic nerve, then you're going to have to stay doing this for quite a while. And if you get to a point of where you can't stand to do it anymore, then fine, take a break and come back to it in a few hours. But you see, the problem is that you've not been releasing the muscles regularly. You've not been doing this exercise and stretching. And so now you've built up tension over years, probably. And so now imagine how much tension your body has in not just your butt muscles but your legs and your back your obliques which is your side muscles and so you really need to get going with this you can see it under there you really need to get going with this and stay on it regularly also I really recommend that you get away from foam chairs that's like office chairs with foam and squishy couches. Oops. Because you see, foam is pushing back against your body. It's pushing back against your muscles. And it's making them tighter and tighter and tighter. Eventually, that's going to cause problems. You probably never thought of this because nobody ever taught it to you. And there's just so many things that nobody taught us in elementary school, or high school, or college, or even massage school. Nobody taught me about this in massage school. I learned it from a YouTube video a long time ago. I learned it from doing massage on people and, and having to take care of myself. So you do that for a long, long time, and then you switch and you do the other side. And then you get yourself a roller. This is a wood roller, which is the best kind that you can get. It's called a Lana roller. and you roll on it on the floor. 
roll on your IT band, which is the muscle on the outside of your leg that gets really tight and really sore, largely because people sleep on their sides. Really roll on that for as long as you can. Once again, finding the worst tension spots, the very worst spots, and digging in. Roll towards the front now and work on these quads because these really affect those gluteal muscles, your butt muscles. The quads really affect those. So you've got to release these. And get right on the worst spots and just release the weight of your body onto it as much as possible. Okay, so now flip over. Put this leg on top of the one you're massaging. Lifting your body up with your hands. And really releasing those hamstrings. Okay. So additionally, you can massage your calves because the calves are connected to the hamstring muscles and those are affecting the glutes. And so everything is affecting this problem. Additionally, you know, the, the sciatic nerve can be pinched anywhere down the leg. Anywhere down the leg. If the pain is shooting down from your butt muscles, then it's probably mostly been being caused by the butt muscles. But it can also be affecting the sciatic nerve in the specific places like in here. The more muscles that you can release, the more better it's going to be. Massage all of these. This is a really good tool called the Shindig tool that I sell on my website, brettsnaturalhealth.com. B R E T T S naturalhealth.com. Look under massage tools to find the massage tools. As you can see, you can really work it. Perineal muscles, tibialis anterior muscle. Perineal, tibialis anterior. And there's different contours to the tool on the ends as well. Hand carved maple. Okay? So, Additionally, to release muscles above the waist, you can use a Theracane and massage your middle back muscles, and that will help too, because oftentimes people get really tight right in their mid back areas. Right through here. So if you release those, it'll help to release tension on the upper iliac crest or your pelvic bone to give you sciatic nerve pain relief. The more you release the, the tension in your mind, the more the body releases. So many different things can be causing that tension that's pinching various nerves like the sciatic nerve. 
So I want to thank you so much for joining me. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and uh, make a comment down below. Check out my website, Brett's Natural Health, and have an awesome day.